It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 23rd of November. I'm James Spann. A little light rain in here tonight, early tomorrow. And then potential for a fairly significant weather event early next week. It could be the dual threat of severe storms and heavy rain, something we haven't had for a long time. So much to talk about on this Thanksgiving Eve. Here we go. This is the water vapor satellite view. You can see the shortwave trough just north and west of the state. Actually, the thing is going negative tilt. Temperatures are mostly in the upper 60s and low 70s in most spots this afternoon, but uh, the dew points are coming up. You know, this morning we had dew points in the teens and 20s. Now they're mostly in the 40s. We know Tupelo with a dew point up to 51, and we do think the dew points will rise enough for rain tonight, light rain. This is the precipitable water early this afternoon. You can see the deeper moisture values a little west of the state that will be advecting in here tonight. Uh, the browns, that's a very dry air, uh, but the shades of green and yellow, that's the moist air. So again, we do think with the trough and moist air coming in tonight, we'll see a little light rain. Uh, not Nothing to make a big dent in this drought, but again, any little bit we get will help. There's a watch warning map on this biggest travel day of the year. In fact, most of you are probably traveling and not watching this, but some of you are still around. Uh, winter storm or winter weather advisories for the counties in blue and scattered spots up north. Winter storm warnings for parts of Washington state. But generally speaking, the weather not that bad this day. Thunderstorms possible tonight from West Alabama down to the Texas, uh, Texas coastal plain, but no severe weather expected. But day six, this is uh, Monday, a risk of severe weather defined for Houston, Lake Charles and Shreveport. And we might wind up being in the Day 7 outlook at some point. That's Tuesday. But it's far off, and, and obviously specifics are hard to define this far in advance. But this is looking pretty good. This is the rain for the next seven days. Ballot through Wednesday morning of next week amounts from two inches over North Alabama to about three-quarters of an inch for the southeastern part of the state. But that's the best-looking map we have seen in many weeks. Here's a little different look at that. You can see the heavier rains uh, running from near Lake Charles up to Memphis and Indianapolis. But again, around here, that's looking pretty good. Uh, and again, a little light rain tonight, a much more significant event early next week. And we'll discuss all of this as we go. Hurricane Otto in the far southwest Caribbean. And I say hurricane, it's actually now a tropical storm. Uh, it was a hurricane early this morning, downgraded late this morning, top wind 70 miles an hour. Expected to become a hurricane again, moving into the coast of either Nicaragua or Costa Rica uh, tomorrow on Thanksgiving, coming across Central America, and then winding up in the Pacific. It'll get a new name over there, and then ultimately dissipating far from land. But let's take a look at all this, uh, model fans. Here we go, the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. The uh, little wave that produces the rain tonight, that's on by. Uh, this is the projected rain off the high-resolution NAM between now and noon tomorrow. Uh, green, that's over a tenth of an inch. Gray, under a tenth of an inch. And we get the idea most spots will see between five hundredths and fifteen hundredths of an inch. Uh, not a lot, no. But goodness, we'll take whatever comes down. And if we can get the ground a little wet, that will help to some degree with the forest fire, the wildfire problems we have. Now, tomorrow, we're going to start the day with clouds and maybe even a little lingering light rain in spots, uh, especially on the eastern side of the state. So when you wake up Thanksgiving morning, it should be kind of gray and maybe a touch of rain in spots. But as the day progresses, the sun should break out by afternoon, uh, maybe mid-afternoon, and the high will be around 70. should be a very comfortable Thanksgiving day. This is Black Friday. Start the day in the 40s, the high around 70, the sky partly to mostly sunny. Iron Bowl Saturday should be a beautiful day. Uh, a 1030 high slips in from the west should be a little cooler. Highs dropping in the low to mid 60s. Just a perfect day for football in Tuscaloosa. Temperatures will be around 63 at kickoff, 50s by the fourth quarter. Sunday, we'll start the day around freezing in most spots. Uh, low to mid 30s and the high will be in the 60s. The sky will be sunny. We note that new surface low east of Denver. Monday, that low moves up into Minnesota. And we're dry, but we have a wide open Gulf of Mexico. Haven't had that in a long time. Good moisture advex in here. We need the pump primed for that next storm. And this is Tuesday. A secondary low forms north of Memphis around Paducah, Kentucky. And if indeed this verifies, that could be a severe weather problem there. Uh, Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday night. Heavy rain, severe weather, the dual threat. 
One of the things we like to look at, we like to look at analogs, uh, going back to uh, situations with a similar setup. And using the top analogs, uh, a number of them have produced tornadoes down here in the Deep South. And I'm not saying that this is going to happen this time, but looking at similar events in years past, we have had problems with severe storms and tornadoes. So we'll watch the events carefully coming into next week. Precipitable water values are really coming up toward two inches. Again, suggesting we could see some really good rain with this on the positive side. Let's check the European. This is uh, Tuesday at midday. It's got a weaker surface load near Memphis, 1,002 millibars. And then uh, this is Tuesday night of next week. And really, uh, if this verifies, we're kind of sitting in a stationary band of heavy rain with the surface low uh, north of Jackson, Tennessee. And accordingly, the European puts down over three inches of rain here over the next 10 days. And again, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but the potential is there. Uh, this thing next week could be a fairly high impact event. Tuesday and Tuesday night. So we'll have to watch that. And this is Wednesday, a week from today. Very deep trough moving in. Uh, we're dry slotted, maybe a bit of lingering light rain, but the heavier stuff is on to the east. And this is the end of the forecast period. This is Saturday, the 3rd of December. And look at that big trough west of the state and another big rainmaker. And that could be another setup for strong storms. This is the pattern flip that happened last week. It opened the door for this to happen. Uh, so, again, uh, you can see multiple opportunities for good rains. And, again, if you look at the European Ensemble out to early January, this is 45 days. And understand this is not calling specific weather events. It's based on pattern recognition. But this is suggesting some really good rains in December if this verifies. And that's over 8 inches here. Check the numbers. Uh, highs kind of up and down. A few days we touch 70. A few days highs will be in the 50s. Some mornings will be close to freezing. But if you average all that out, it's fairly close to average for late November in Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here early tomorrow morning, we're going to go into a holiday schedule. So one video per day tomorrow, Friday and over the weekend. If you can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News on television or the live stream at 4, 5, 6 and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening. Happy Thanksgiving and God bless.